My first guest tonight, this is interesting, he has a record album, Stardust, which is now in its 315th week on the uh, top 100 uh, country chart in America. 315. And uh, here are two of his uh, most recent albums. I guess these are the two most recent. Willie Nelson, Angel Eyes, and Willie Nelson, Without a Song. Well, ladies and gentlemen, it's a terrific honor for us to introduce this man, a legendary singer and a songwriter. He will be appearing with his family at Radio City Music Hall May 24th through the 29th. We're honored to have him with us. Please welcome Mr. Willie Nelson. <laughs> Good to see you. Thank you. Thank you very much for being here. I really appreciate it, and you sound terrific. Thank you very much. Let me ask you about the guitar. This is the guitar. Isn't this it? is Trigger Jr. Boy, look at this. What the heck happened here? Can we? <laughs> this looked like some. Is that a? That's not a bullet hole. It was a it? hell of a wreck. <laughs> What's the history behind this thing? Well, this guitar is about 20 years old, I guess, and uh, because it's the tone is uh, so exceptionally good, I've tried to keep it, uh -huh. and it doesn't have a pick guard. So over the years, the pick has worn a hole in there. And uh, it looks kind of bad, but it sounds okay. And uh, it doesn't affect the sound? This You have essentially two openings there in the deal. <laughs> <laughs> maybe, what, maybe you ought to putty one of these up. I don't... No, I think it kind of enhances the sound a little bit. We've had to reinforce it inside a little bit to keep it from caving in. Yeah. And you've, you folks have signed on there? Who are some of these people? Oh, Roger Miller, Chris Christopherson, uh, just uh, Leon Russell, a lot of yeah. friends of mine. Have you got this thing insured or? No. <laughs> do you ever let it out of your sight? Are you careful with it? Or you don't uh, worry so much about it? Or how do you treat it? Uh, well, I don't worry so much about it. Occasionally it crosses my mind, what would I do and, you know, if, if something happened to it? But uh, I don't think about that. Yeah. But this is the one night in, night out you're working with wherever you go? That's it. Now, that wouldn't be traumatic if all of a sudden it, it turned up missing. Yeah, I don't know yeah. where to go to look No, no, for I'm it. not, no, I don't know. You take it back. <laughs> no, you hang on to it. But I mean, it, it gets to be a... <laughs> but it's uh I mean, it gets to be a real part of you, doesn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah it okay. sure uh, Listen, we have to do a uh, commercial. Uh, we'll be right back and uh, talk some more with uh, Willie Nelson. You're going to sing another song, aren't you? Yes, Terrific. We'll be right back. <laughs> Willie Nelson is here. 
You know, uh, the, this afternoon when uh, your people were here, there's yes. a lot. You travel with a lot of folks, don't you? Yes. yes. When they were uh, here setting up and uh, so forth, looking the place over, a lot of them had shirts on that said "Bad TV." Right. Now, what is that? That had anything to do with us, or is this? <laughs> <laughs> no, this is our own little in-house production that we have uh, a camera and we take pictures of ourselves throughout uh, the day at the concert, before and after, uh -huh. and what have you. And we have some very interesting. Also, we had a contest uh, recently called the Misconceived Contest. <laughs> And uh, <laughs> we have some film clips of that that maybe sometime in the future you might like to show. Oh, I'd your... love to show them. Yeah. What, what would we see if we would uh, be able to get that stuff on the air? Oh, well, just everyone in, in, the, in the, the group uh, performed uh, in their bathing suits, and uh, they, <laughs> they looked uh, courageous. <laughs> courageous. <laughs> yeah, well, you could edit that stuff together, we'd throw it right on. That would be great. Yeah, it would be... make them so happy. <laughs> Good. Uh, now, when you come to New York City, you're going to be at Radio City Music Hall for six nights? Yes. And I understand it's already sold out. Uh, do you run when you're in town? Yes. Do you? Uh, I, I would if I was, but I, I'm yes. not, so I don't. I get it. But, uh, but where do you go? Uh, I run in the park a lot. Yeah. How, yeah. Much, how much running do you do? Well, I did about seven miles today. Yeah. Wow, that's amazing. Do you do that every day? Well, not every day. You know, I skip a day sometimes. Yeah. But... The seven, what's the longest you've done? Uh, I did 10 miles uh, one time. One day, Mark and I, Mark is my friend and manager, we did 21 miles, uh, and Chris Christopherson was with us that day, and we were trying to kill him. <laughs> <laughs> now, you, you bring up a good point. He doesn't look like he, you know, he might, uh, he looks like the kind of guy rather sleep late. Chris? Yeah. It's, it's, it's very deceiving, though. He's a fine runner. No kidding. Yeah, he's in great 21 condition. miles. That, that's admirable. Um, now, you're in town for six days, but do you, do you still travel in a bus, or have you progressed to bigger and better things? Do you, do you all roll in in a... Well, we have uh, some buses that uh, carry us. There are about 30 of us, so uh -huh. we've got four buses and an airplane. And what kind a, of airplane? A Lear. Oh, boy. And... Uh, <laughs> I fly in that sometimes. I had a feeling you would be in that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I had a feeling <laughs> the guys in the t-shirts aren't in the jet. I, uh, and uh, do you, so do you try and commute back and forth uh, every night from a gig? If I'm close enough. I, yeah, yeah. And uh, if I'm close enough to either Austin or Denver, which is uh, my hangout. So. Yeah. What was your first job in Nashville? My first job was playing guitar with uh, Bobby Sykes. And we did a tour from Nashville. It was a three-day tour. It went from Nashville to uh, Bangor, Maine, to Plattsburgh, New York, and back to Nashville. Mm, this is grueling. It's great. Yeah. And well, we, great. we got a speeding ticket in Virginia and missed the first date. Yeah. We were only getting twenty-five dollars a day, so they went half of the gig. Yeah, yeah. And then my next job was with uh, Ray Price. Ray Price, for yeah. whom you wrote uh, Nightlife. Yes. Now, can you tell the people what you sold that song to him for? Actually, the truth of the matter is, Ray, if you're listening, sorry, pal. Uh, I wrote the song in, uh, when I st was still living in Houston. It was a few years before I got to Nashville. And uh, Ray recorded it, and I, you know, he did a great job on it. But I had already recorded it myself before. Mm, yeah. But who, who owns the rights to that now? I sold that song to uh, three people. <laughs> <laughs> for a hundred dollars uh -huh. and uh, it took all three of them together up a hundred dollars and I sold another song called Family Bible for fifty dollars to the same three people yeah no problem there no lawsuits no fist fights uh, no not really yeah. because I really needed the money at the time <laughs> uh, now you also started performing much earlier than that though when you were six years old you were giving you were reading poetry for oh, folks? yes, yes. Well, actually, I was, uh, we would have on Sundays what they call all-day singings and dinners on the ground, and uh, everyone would bring a covered dish. I was probably about five years old. Yeah. And I was wearing uh, a little white sailor suit, short breeches, and with red trim. And I had a poem to do, and they was going to introduce me into this little tabernacle where we all would sing songs and, uh, and uh, do whatever, you know, you could do. So they introduced me and I got up there, but my nose had started to bleed. I'd been picking my nose, right? <laughs> five year, well, five-year-old boys sure, do that sometimes. What are you going to do? Uh, yeah. And, uh, yeah, you're sitting around. Yeah. So you pick your nose. And it started bleeding just as I started up to do my poem. Mm -hmm. So I had to hold my nose <laughs> and, uh, and do my poem, which was 
what are you looking at me for? I ain't got nothing to say. If you don't like the looks of me, just look the other way. <laughs> now, that was my first response. Sure. And from then on, from show then business on, was uh, for you. I yeah. didn't, uh, nothing scared me from there. We have, uh, I don't even know how old this is. Our, our head writer uh, owns this. i give you an idea of our head writer. But uh, <laughs> it's, a, uh, it's a plastic Willie Nelson guitar. Mm -hmm. And if you don't mind, would you sign that for him? His name is Steve O'Donnell. Sure. You got a pen? Yeah, we got a pen. And, and also, do we have to, do you, when you were on the, the show with Barbara Walters. Any, anything going on there with you and Barbara? Well, not not on camera, no. We, were... we have to uh, pause for station identification. Uh, Willie Nelson will be back. You're going to sing another song. Thank you very much. Uh, oh, uh, once again, ladies and gentlemen, and we're very pleased about this, uh, here he is, Willie Nelson, singing Always On My Mind. Ladies and gentlemen, you want to introduce the folks here? Sure, yeah, I'd love to. This is Mickey Raphael playing the harmonica. Mickey, nice to see you, sir. Thank you very and much. This is B Spears playing the harmonica. B, how are you? Nice bass. to see you, sir. Paul English playing the drums. Paul, nice job. Thank you very much, this sir. This is Jody Payne playing this guitar. Jody, how you doing, sir? And uh, Brady Martin playing that guitar. Over Brady? There. And my sister Bobby playing the piano. Please. Bobby, how are you? Stand up, Bobby. 
Willie, really, thank you very much. Yes, sir. Terrific job. Really appreciate you being here. We have to go away. We'll be right back. Willie Nelson, folks.